I'm Emma Jacobs, and I was a Reed intern with, um, or sorry, a Reed Fellow of Humanitarianism um, at the Iowa United Nations Association. Um, this is a um, nonprofit based in Iowa City, um, in the old brick building, and um, it's part of the um, UN Foundation, which in turn is a part of the Better World Campaign. And its basic um, goal is just to aspire to worldwide cooperation, basically between the private sector and the public sector, between individuals and corporations, between NGOs, um, basically trying to raise support and uh, public cooperation with the United Nations. Um, the United Nations Foundation has um, a um, local component in every state and so the Iowa UNA is one of those local organizations and it basically seeks to connect uh, local people with the United Nations and to raise awareness, educate people about the goals and the programs of the United Nations. Uh, this is the office uh, during a day when uh, I was cleaning it out uh, one of the fun things about working um, with the Iowa UNA was just, it's a really small organization. There was only one full-time staff member, and she was the executive director. And so I worked there 40 hours a week for the entire summer of 2010, and I got to do everything. <laughs> um, I also don't have, you know, one specific project that I was in charge of. Um, I, you know, cleaned out the office. I, you know, organized the files. I did absolutely everything. Um, some of the, the key projects that I worked on that were the, really the most exciting for me. Uh, you may not know the Millennium Development Goals are um, a list of goals that the United Nations um, came up with several er, in, in 2000. There are eight goals to uh, basically develop, uh, the, develop the developing world further. Um, they include you know, um, goals to alleviate poverty, to um, health, health goals, um, economic development goals. Um, and I basically worked on raising awareness of those goals through a variety of mediums. Um, there was a large display that I was responsible for creating. Um, I had to not only raise the money for this and plan several financial elements um, in terms of contacting donors, but I also had to um, recruit a volunteer, a volunteer uh, graphic designer who was in charge of putting together that whole display. Um, and I was the one that was in charge of, you know, creating all of the information, doing all the research, um, finding out um, how, how the goals have been progressing over the past um, uh, 11 years. We only have four years left until the Millennium Development Goals run out, and so it's really important that we be uh, working towards these and really making as much progress as possible. Um, I was also in charge of volunteer coordination which um, actually was a lot of work. I uh, you know, made a lot of postings on various uh, volunteer websites, you know, looking for interns, looking for volunteers. We needed a lot of help in the office. That's how nonprofits run. We needed as many people helping out as possible. Um, I was also in charge of training, interviewing, coordinating the volunteers, keeping track of their hours. Um, I also in, uh, created a program to reward volunteers for their service where I went around to a variety of local Iowa City companies and asked them for donations that I could then distribute to the volunteers in, um, in thanks for the service that they'd given us. Um, I also created a volunteer and employee handbook which um, the UNA continues to use. Um, the library database is just an online database that's accessible from any um, computer with access to the internet that has all of the Iowa UNA's UN resources. And so it's good for, um, for research for college papers as well as for anyone interested in sort of international affairs. And I was responsible for um, instructing volunteers how to use that and then coordinating um, all of the in-office data. Finally, the Millennium Development Goal Forum, we have a quarterly forum at the UNA that has, it's basically a large newsletter, newspaper, that talks about um, topics of, of interest to the United Nations. And so I was responsible for um, recruiting writers to write articles about the Millennium Development Goals, their updates, what they're, um, how they're going in, in different countries. And I ended up um, editing and fact-checking all of those articles, as well as writing an introduction, basically overviewing what the Millennium Development Goals are, how they're going. And I created a um, photography 
um, competition to get photographs from different countries exemplifying the Millennium Development Goals. Uh, finally, what I learned, um, I learned a lot about the UN system, <laughs> obviously. Um, I didn't know a lot about the Millennium Development Goals before. I didn't know a lot about how the UN worked, but I feel like now I have a really good grasp of you know, how the UN functions, all the different um, subsidiary organizations that support the UN, as well as um, internally how that, how that system functions. Um, I also learned a lot about how nonprofits function. Um, as I said, you know, I was in charge of everything from vacuuming and taking out the trash to contacting donors worth thousands of dollars. So I really saw, you know, the huge range of responsibilities that nonprofits have. Um, personally, however, um, I learned that my, my interest lies in international affairs and human rights, which is incredibly valuable for me as a graduating senior. I need to know where I want to go in life, uh, what I'm going to do for grad school. So this was an invaluable opportunity, and I'm just so grateful for the uh, experience. I'd just like to thank uh, Carrie Reed. The, the uh, donor was in honor of her, who was class of 1885, and my site supervisor, Andrea Niehaus. Um, this is a picture of the two of us, and we ended up being great friends, and she's just an incredible mentor and an incredible executive director. Thank you.